Hey everyone, okay, so Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm gonna do some swatches for you because their liquid lipsticks are amazing and I've said it all the way along and I'm gonna to continue to say it. So the first one that I'm gonna swatch on the back of my hand is called Crush. Now, literally, Crush is the perfect nude lip. I think that is what a nude lip should look like. It's pinky, it's beige, and it don't look like you're dead. That's a great color, Crush. Now, if you wanna go a shade lighter, we have got Stripped. The, again, look at this. These are nude. These are wearable nudes. I know, I know. So, should we go even nuder? Mm, naked. Yes, please. No, not me, because... So this is naked, swatch next to it. See, wearable nudes. It's really hard to get a nude lipstick in a liquid format. Most of them are bright. So now we're gonna go on to Dolce. This is like a peachy color. Really, really pretty. Really spring, really, you know, a bit naughty. So really, really nice. I'm gonna do one more kind of muted color and then we're gonna move on to some brights. So this one is Catherine, Catherine with a K. I'm gonna swatch it lengthwise. This is much deeper, but again, this one's actually a little bit supermodel era, which you can see here. Really, really good. So now on my other clean hand, I'm gonna swatch the rest. So we've got Soft Lilac. Now this is a really nice shade, but it's my least favorite because I just don't kind of love the color but it's still really, really nice. Then we've got catnip. Catnip over here is something completely different, I'm sure. Just makes your cats go wild, and maybe it's the same, I don't know, who knows. So there's catnip next to it. Really similar shades, but catnip is a bit deeper, and I prefer it. Now we're gonna move on to this gorgeous shade called Madison, and then my favorite is coming next. So this is Madison, and this is this is so great. It's like a purple, but with at least a good amount of fuchsia in it. And finally, my favorite, this is Rio. Mmm, Rio, look at this. This is, oh, oh, Rio, Rio, Rio. The beautifulest, beautifulest fuchsia you've ever seen. What makes these stand out is, and I've said this before, but I'm gonna do it one more time. The reason that Anastasia Beverly Hills is doing so well is because they have their finger on the pulse of what's happening. They don't sit there and spend 19 years deliberating over it. They know something's coming, they get product out, and it's decent, good product that works. That's why I've had so many gripes about MAC. You remember MAC, right? MAC had strobe cream, right? Long before anything was called strobe, strobing, right? And it, how long did it take them? to get on the bandwagon. They already had the bloody cream, strobe cream. And it was literally like, a, like four weeks ago, suddenly we had this strobe in front of them. You are too late. You know, Charlotte Tilbury, Makeup Geek, um, Marina, um, Anastasia, these people have it going on because they are doing it right now, instantly. They're not pissing around. And that's why they're so prevalent. That's why they're overtaking Mac. And Mac is a great company, don't get me wrong, they've got amazing products, but they need to pull their fingers out their asses and come up with some products quickly rather than this bloody buggery, ugly nonsense of releasing 19 different collections each month that you're never gonna see again, ever. Like, what's the, what's the point of that? Oh, look, oh my God, there's this, all this blush. Have you seen it? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because you're never going to see it again. I had a meeting with them a long time ago and I said that I love your products, but it's hard for me to recommend them because they're so limited edition, and that's my problem with them. But I love MAC Cosmetics. They think they do great products. You just wish that they would be a little bit more, um, less gimmicky, less nonsense, and just more about the artist side of it and keeping really cool products and coming up with amazing products. There you go. See you soon. Comments. Bye.